Okay. What year is this? 2018, huh? Oh, April 18, 2018. Okay. So guess what? There's a game coming out. A lot of people really love this game. It's Castlevania. 2D. Oh boy, when's the last time we saw a 2D Castlevania game? Guess who's publishing the game? Your beloved Konami. That's right, folks. Konami is making the game. Not surprised at all, since Konami owns Castlevania. That's awesome. But guess what? It's not going to be on a console. It's not going to be on Nintendo Switch. It's not going to be on the PS4. It's not going to be on the Xbox One, PC, Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation Vita, Nokia Engage. No, oh, okay, I'm not going to go all the way there. I'm kidding. No. Okay, Engage. No, none of those. Guess where it's going? Want to take a quick guess? Do you? I know you want to take a quick guess. Ah, you you already know. I'm I'm leading the party. It's gonna be on the iPhone. Yep. Ah. Oh, the iPhone, the beloved iPhone. Who doesn't love the iPhone? This guy doesn't like the iPhone. The iPhone can kick rocks. Screw the iPhone. Android, baby. Android all the way. Anyway. So, Konami. They're going to make Castlevania on the iPhone. That is the most stupidest thing I have ever seen or heard that a video game friend, uh, publisher like Konami ever do. They're going mobile. They well, that's their actually fo their actual focus. They said it before, and they're doing it right, their way. They're going mobile, so I'm not surprised. So a game that uh, a lot of people has a big following on to this day. Okay, hell, there was a Netflix uh, anime uh, Castlevania series that I still have not watched that I should watch. I shouldn't be wasting my time doing this video and watch that, but I'm not doing that. I'd rather do this video first and then I'll watch that. They did that last year and a lot of people loved it, but yet, Konami, here they are. They're going to make a Castlevania game on the best freaking phone on the planet, the iPhone. So, Konami again, they're still in business. So, I don't, I don't really understand why are they why are they still in business? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, after all the BS that y'all guys did over the years, you know, from like basically firing some of your workers and you kept some of the workers and kept it in staff, you know, and you have some, you know, you had Kojima leaving. You had terrible, crappy games like Metal Gear Survive. You had a Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachigo Machine, a video that I ranted up on. If you want to check it out, you know I talked about also Metal Gear again, Metal Gear Survive, another video you should check out as well. And I also talked about Silent Hills on this vi on this channel as well, another video that I talked about. So if you really think about it, all these videos that I that I'm pointing out are Konami topics of their games that they made, you know, and a pachinko machine, and they're all basically negative presses of of what Konami has been doing. There, and that's pretty much their track record. Just negative, just negative crap after negative crap after negative crap, 
and that's what Konami has been doing. And I'm sick of it. Konami should die in a lake of fire. They should go to the depths of hell. Konami as an intellectual, uh, as a as a publisher, excuse me, they need to sell the intellect their intellectual property to other third party publishers. They have to. They 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 don't have the passion, they don't have the drive, and they neglect the gamers. They, they neglect, you know, the you know, basically the fan base of games like Castlevania and Metal Gear Solid and other of their beloved uh, Konami games. And it's just it's time for them to just get out of the gaming industry in a whole, as a whole. You know, the Castlevania 2D on the you know on the iPhone. Look, the game looks pretty cool by by the images and stuff. I have not seen the trailer, but I don't give two shits about Castlevania 2D on the iPhone. As a, as a matter of fact, even if can uh, as bad as how this is, even if Kojima was still in Konami. I will still not buy one freaking game to Konami because they don't deserve any of my money. You know, after all the crap, all the negative press that they put themselves to, that they shot themselves in the foot, why the hell should I, you know, basically support them? Why would I give them my money to a failure like Konami is? No, that's not how it's supposed to be. In my opinion, I sh nobody should should like basically support something like that. Okay, they don't care about themselves. You know what I'm saying? And I shouldn't care about it either. Nobody should care about Konami either. So do you do yourselves a favor and don't buy don't buy this game. Don't buy Castlevania 2D. Okay, Castlevania is a console game. That's what it should be. It should not be. And no freaking 2D. I mean, in, in a mobile game. I'm sorry, it's not where it's supposed to be. The last time we had a Castlevania 2D game, it was in 2010, and I think it was on the Xbox 360. I forgot the name of the game, but it was on the on the 360, I believe, because I remember they did a Castlevania game for the 360, and I think there was also one for the Wii. I think their own version of the Wii, and it looks cool. But I back in the day, back in the days, I'm 30 years old. And the games that I played were all console games. So the mobile games are cool, like cool games. Don't get me wrong, they're cool. But you know, Capcom does this, and Square Enix does this, and I believe Na uh, Bandai Namco does this. But you know what's the difference between those three and you know Konami? Th their focus is on console gaming. You know what I'm saying? But on the side, they can do mobile gaming as well because they know. That the audience out there, the casual audience, does play mobile gaming. And that's a big, big market. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. They want to go do, do um, mobile gaming for that platform? For the casual fans out there? For the casual market out there? Hey, more power to them. That's why Capcom is a little shaky with their, their games. But you know what I'm saying? They, they At least they produce good games. Nintendo... That's a big, big freaking entity. You know what I'm saying? They publish good games. They're an awesome, awesome freaking company. And I fully support Nintendo. But look at Super Mario Run. They did a great job with that. Look at Fire Emblem Heroes. They did a, did a pretty good job with that. Same thing with Square Enix. Square Enix, they did a great job with Kingdom Hearts, uh, Union Cross, and Final Fantasy XV, the uh, mobile game, which is cool. You know, for, what, uh, for some people, I've seen reviews of that. And also Final Fantasy Brave Exodus is another cool game. So Square Enix, their primary focus is console gaming. But mobile gaming, they're, they're, they're doing a, a pretty good job too. So I respect that. But Konami, it's not like that. Konami shifts away from a console gaming to mobile gaming. And they don't give two shits about console gaming. They don't have the, the passion about it. The only game that they're going to release it... As a console game for Konami is Pro Evolution Soccer, and that's about it. So yeah. Um, other than that, man, like I said, I'm not gonna support Konami. They could eat a dick, they could die. I don't care. I, I don't care about Konami. Konami is dead to me already. I thought they should. I thought they should have died a few years ago, where the whole incident about their workers treating them as slaves. I think that 
that's a terrible, just terrible negative press for Konami to do. Like ter terrible PR. You know what I'm saying? And just they, they just cram negative crap after crap after crap higher than the totem pole. You know what I'm saying? No. That's not how anyone should should you know support. You don't support something like that. Okay? You do, you just don't. So uh I'm just I'm disappointed. I wish Castlevania was a game that was on um, um on the PS4 on the you know on, on a on a modern day console, you know what I'm saying? Uh, especially 2D. Whoa, like that's a big deal. It would have been more awesome if like they were so like let's say Castlevania on a, like a Nintendo platform. And that's what started it all, you know, like the the the, the original NES Castlevania trilogy that was on Nintendo. Could you imagine you see a Castlevania game the, 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 like the property of Castlevania, the the IP of it on Nintendo exclusively. That will be kick ass. Like that will definitely make a huge impact for Nintendo. You will love. You will see Simon Belmont and your beloved other, well, maybe another Castlevania character on a on a Smash Brothers game. Can you imagine that? That that will like will possibly happen if Castlevania was on Nintendo on a Nintendo platform. But what whatever. It is what it is. So that's it. It's pretty much it here. Let me know what you guys think about this. I just. I think Konami again, once again, I'm going to repeat this again, they should die, and they should erase themselves from existence, you know what I'm saying, like a no, like a death note, you know what I'm saying, that's what they should do, just write down the death note, Konami, and scratch that name, delete it, and that's what they should do, so, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, um, you guys have been, you guys have been great on this channel, uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, checking out my last video on my Shenmue video. Um, I'm, I'm really grateful that I have an audience who r really likes the Shenmue games like I do. And it's awesome. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate your feedback and all the likes. And keep on subscribing to this channel. Um, remember, I'm here to, to entertain you guys, to bring some cool topics. I'm not here for the money. I'm not here for any of the re you know making money or anything like I care about making great qu content for you guys and uh, you guys are been awesome to me so take care everybody and uh, have a good night and have a good one